With regard to Obama, there have been all of these uh, attempts to explain him. Uh, Steve Saylor wrote a whole book about this. My view is that uh, people are c missing the point. That Obama, the important thing to know about Obama is that he's not an American and does not consider himself to be an American. He quite simply was not raised in the United States of America. So he has none of the feeling for country that one would expect from uh, a normal American. Do you think there's anything to my analysis? Well, yes. You get a lot of people who are raised in America uh, who feel that way. There used to be a House Committee on Un-American Activities, uh, which was, uh, for example, uh, Obama's American mother was uh, un-American or anti-American. Uh, uh, her, her, her Indonesian husband wanted her to come to a party with the other uh, Americans he worked with. And, uh, these were, of course, your typical corporate overseas American expatriates, and so Stanley Dunham was saying, uh, uh, Stanley Dunham Sotero at that point, I guess, was saying uh, that uh, they're not my people, because she, she didn't uh, think much of Americans. And, uh, well, yeah, I mean, you, you have this phenomenon of the army brat, and you have these people, men and women, who are often raised all over the world, but their parents tend to be super patriots, whereas Obama's mother quite clearly loathed America. The thing is that it's it's partly the racial thing where he, he, he identifies with his father and with this oppressed race, which of course he's the least oppressed person in the world. It's racist to say that he's privileged, but he went to prep school in Chicago and got a full scholarship to all these universities. And then he was grandmother was a banker. One of his parents, uh, with his black father, went to Harvard. I don't think that's abandoned him, but uh, he's a, a Harvard economist. His white mother was also a PhD. Uh, I, I really don't know uh, what you could do to be more privileged than that. His Muslim stepfather in Indonesia was an oil company executive. So yeah, Ooh. so he's privileged, uh, but he's also uh, he he's, he's doesn't think of himself. Uh, you're right. He do doesn't think of himself as one of these regular Americans. He, he thinks the people of Pennsylvania as those regular Americans, the people who can't cling to guns and uh, religion and whatever. Well, I, I don't, I, I, I'm going to mention P.J. O'Rourke. You, you mentioned him. And I'm not fond of P.J. O'Rourke these days. In fact, P.J. I lost my fondness for P.J. O'Rourke when he uh, laughed. He mocked the hundred th hundreds of thousands of middle management Americans who were losing their jobs, saying these losers deserve it. But P.J. O'Rourke, uh, this phrase, uh, religious nuts with guns and he said this country was founded by religious nuts with guns and to me when Obama made his famous attack on these people clinging to their guns and their Bibles it's not something that anyone who even knew about America would say the thing is that uh, it's partly the uh, the it's the current year thing uh, we, we may have needed guns and Bibles in the past but no one should be thinking of guns and religion now. But the thing is, uh, all that is old stuff. It's over, it's over, and we now have a new day and something new and uh, better and interesting and multicultural. And, and uh, Pennsylvania is full of people who are just awful. It's true. It's uh, very white people in Pennsylvania. So some of them are very rural. They're, they're not uh, the Obama multicultural type. Obama, it's, it's like, uh, it's the thing of where you, you get a guy who thinks, well, I'm, I have these multiple identities, and I'm this, and I'm that, uh, and he's obviously fascinated with himself. Thinking of yourself as not part of uh, America, is it's not even in the same way that uh, some blacks will think of themselves as, you know, well, I'm not interested in Plymouth Rock because I didn't land on Plymouth Rock, Plymouth Rock landed on me. The thing is, Plymouth Rock didn't even land on, on Obama. He, his family was uh, elsewhere. Uh, he, in a sense, he's, uh, he's not descended from slaves. He's descended from, on both sides of his family, slave owners. Uh, that is, he's, he has Confederate American ancestors. And, uh, it, instead of being an African American, he has African ancestors on the other side. So it's, uh, it's, it's not at all, as you say, part of America or loyal to America or whatever.